Okay, hello, hello guys. Hi. Oof. Sorry if I sound a bit tired. I am tired. It's the end of the week and all I want to do is just stay in bed and sleep. Which is something I want to do all the time, but it gets that desire gets stronger as the week comes to an end. And then Monday comes around and I and I'm even more tired than see basically There's never a moment in my life where I feel fresh and you know ready to do stuff. I j- with every passing day I just get more and more and more tired. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, apart from my whining. <laughs> oh god, yesterday I just stayed in bed and slept. I just had I did not have the power to just do anything at all. and then i know i was supposed to prepare for the live review i haven't done one of those in a very long time and i really wanted to do one so i was supposed to prepare for that but god i was so tired i could not move a muscle i couldn't try to script i couldn't do anything so i was like okay you know what instead of a live review let's just play kenshin impact <laughs> that might like that's probably a better option so that's what i did i playing kenshin impact today we'll do a review on some other day maybe i won't schedule the live reviews for the end of the week <laughs> We'll see. I was actually going to talk about Teen Wolf. But I think I'm going to postpone that until I see the movie. I've heard things about the movie which have which have just mm, Okay, let's see how let, let's see where they're going with this. But yeah, today we're going to play Genshin Impact. We're going to try and wrap up the Sumeru Arc on quest. I know there's like one more part to go through. We finished the part with King Dashrath. and you know figured out exactly what really happened with him and everything so now i think hopefully we'll be going down the skara and dotore storyline let's see okay let's get let's get to the game hold on what listen are you serious right now uh there we go i didn't check this before stream my my app just doesn't cooperate with me all the time so yeah Let me just Oh uh, yeah, let's play Kenshin. <laughs> I'm going to adjust the volume. I had put it down on mute completely because if I didn't, every time I said something, there would be Jongli in the background going, "Ah, oh, as mad as wine still stays the same, but where are those? Like my dude, please." <laughs> it's a, it's a big thing with him. Gems. <laughs> Ooh, two primo, two intertwined face. Oh, I wonder why. What happened? Lantern ride gifts. Okay. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? One thousand meters. Okay, I'm not gonna walk there. Let's just teleport. I wonder what would. Ha- oh, of course. Oh, of course. It's okay. It's okay. I wonder what would happen if I walked everywhere instead of using a teleport or how much time would it take? I'm I am tempted to find out. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to try and find out, but god, I am tempted. We have to go to the other side. Let's go, old man. Don't die. this stream that's all i'll do just walk everywhere no not walk okay walking would be way too slow just sprint everywhere <laughs> see how that goes Are you doing? Can you stand up? Oh, 
fuck's sake, man. with me just keeps getting stuck in the weirdest places <sighs> oh no not you listen I'm always up for a fight but I'm just not in the mood for a fight right now that was contradictory I mean I feel very tired so I'm not gonna be fighting unnecessarily decided for this stream I'll just walk everywhere and see how that works out for me I don't see it working out well but you know it's worth giving a try <laughs> we're not going to use teleporters we're only going to sprint and climb and glide our way through everything so easy to sneak into that camp those are the worst guards ever Too. I get frustrated too, but I'm gonna do it for the content. <laughs> content that nobody watches. Why am I trying so hard? <sighs> okay, let's see. everyone have such a dramatic flair in this game <laughs> like you know they'll just stay behind you like oh no 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 you guys go ahead I'll, I'll be there in like 10 minutes and then just walk in dramatically like oh i'm here as well ah uh, yes the game of thrones and fairy tale mashup song in the way they reacted to Alhaitham and Saino. Alhaitham was like, oh no, it's the scribe. Saino was like, oh fuck, I'm dead. He's gonna tear me apart. <laughs> I love tiny characters who evoke so much fear in people.
this cutscene to end, I'm gonna adjust the audio a bit because I feel like the music is much more louder compared to the dialogue. Which is not like it's not a bad thing per se, but I would like to hear. <laughs> Because I do tend to get distracted, so if I'm not hearing the dialogue, I'm just I would know I would have no idea what's happening in the game. What a nonsense! So is this to say that Skara didn't run away with the Electronosis and instead was kidnapped by Dotore, or is that like or are they working together? Then would that mean that Dotore also like betrayed the Futui? Oh god, it's so too many questions. Okay, I'm gonna start skipping through stuff now. <laughs> I need this to move a bit faster. Come on. Do you have to sort it? So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 いや、一部の生物は、これもある種の倉庫だな。彼女は正真正銘存在している神だろう、強霊院は。一度も葛藤し、強霊院は暗くさなりデビという新たな知恵の神を探し出し、当時の彼女の知能は、そこらのこの元
my god something <laughs> okay i have to go higher up guys what? there's too much standing around and talking in this game for my liking back with all of the horses at some point right he can't take them for no why are you falling where am i <laughs> oh no i don't know where i am oh god i made a mistake i don't know where i am it was just all i wanted to do was you know talk about varka taking away all of the horses in tibet <laughs> and now i don't know where i am Because you can't have a cavalry team. Varka comes back to keep the horses for himself. I mean, you can't have a cavalry team without, you know, horses or mounts of some kind. But we haven't seen any animal in Genshin except for the ones in Sumeru that can be used as mounts. And I doubt those fluffy animals are there in Monstad, Liyue, and Inazuma. So where the fuck are the mounts? So what is Kaya captain of? Or did they just make up position for him? Like, oh, you know, let's just make something up. I don't know what I just picked up. Where am I? It's like they didn't have a team available, so they're just like, oh, quickly make one up, make up one up, make one up, and then he just drew cavalry. <laughs> like something. We we'll figure out what to do with you. But for now, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. But I'm pretty sure I'm going in the wrong direction, and I'm supposed to go up there and not down here. <laughs> Half of the stream is just gonna be me trying to figure out my way. Nah. Nah. Almost fell to my death. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna finish this quest at this rate. <laughs> Why did I try this? I'm directionally challenged. Okay, there's a bridge there. Okay, there's a bridge here. Uh, let's go, Zhongli. We can do this. We'll figure this out somehow. I think. I hope. I'm not sure. We might be here the whole night. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here the whole night. I get hungry. Ah! No, 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 no. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh my god, this is a mistake. But now I've committed to this, and I I can't back down. So <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. We just have to some. Is that a lift by any chance? No, I don't think that's a lift. Is it a lift? I'm not sure. I'm not going all the way down there. Uh, <laughs> we choose to struggle for this dream. <laughs> I swear to God, if people don't appreciate what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> All this pain and for what? Okay. 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 We're on the right path. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's 
the bridge. I almost walked right off. <laughs> Hallelujah, we're at the village. <laughs> somehow, somehow we made it. <laughs> okay. teleporting there in the blink of an eye i wasted 15 minutes running around fall almost falling to my death <laughs> to get to this one point of the game and i have to say it really wasn't worth it <laughs> but i'm going to continue doing it <laughs> You guys can't see the mouse. That's good. Why, Paimon? Why must I say anything? Have you ever heard me say a thing, Paimon? Wait, are, are the Traveler and Paimon parting ways? Have my wishes been heard? so much better if it was kind of incorporated in the dialogue because I don't really feel these emotions for these characters like they talk so much so why can't we have this particular part incorporated in the dialogue it's like they express their disappointment with academia and what the sages are doing when we cleared the domain but I was wrong okay where am I going through the pre-dawn night wait until the next day god damn it just so the game can't tell me that oh it is in the next day so I'm just going right right into the afternoon instead of the morning Where is she? 25, 24. Yeah. Let's see. I will try my best not to fall to my death. Did they not plan what they wanted to do last night? <laughs> Why are they? Oh my god! 
ちょっと待ってください会議の前に一つ約束してほしいことがありますなんだ計画を立てるときはくれぐれも無理のないように約束してほしいのです It's okay Candice I have I am the main character I have plot armor I can do anything <laughs> For just for that, would you just tell this to me outside your house or something? Is this your house? No, this is the village chief's house. Or we just taken over some random person's house and made that our, you know, hideout base camp. <laughs> He's not even involved. <laughs> It's so funny. Can you imagine like the village chief comes like to his like. You know, works wakes up in the morning. There's a knock at his door. He opens it, and everyone's just standing there. And he's like, "Why? <laughs> I just wanted to sleep in." And now there are just random strangers in his house, and he has to entertain them instead of having, you know, breakfast or something. <laughs> They've just taken over his place, <laughs> and he's just standing there at a corner, looking at his shelves and going, "How did my life come to this?" <laughs> Being productive, half the meeting went into a cutscene, so like. Generally speaking, I was so worried about the village chief that I didn't pay attention to what was happening. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, or what the plan is, or if I was even told what the plan is. Oh my god! Don't tell me I have to go and talk to like every single character once before we can leave, because that's gonna make me scream and like pull my hair out. <laughs> I know excessive reaction, but I don't like talking to people. Skip through this, doesn't seem like there's anything important being discussed here. 
知れとの遺跡で見つけた情報のことを覚えているかそうか、緊急知識は必須だな。しかし、強霊軍は今起きているさまざまな現象を。クラクサナリデリがこの状況お前がアビディアの森でどうやらクラクサナリデリをす、うん、目的をどこに行くんだエルマイト旅団のこれでエルマイトそれで今日はこれでエルマイトエルマイトエルマイトエルマイトエル Seven seventy five meet the ball. Good God, this is gonna be fun.、And、by fun, I mean I'm gonna get so lost. You know, I think I just came from there. <laughs> Hello, cats. Wait, what? What? Where'd the other one go? <laughs> Wait, what? Did that other cat just jump off the cliff? <laughs> What the fuck? Not that scary of a person, am I? For so long before dying. <laughs> oh, this game really is something. Definitely going in the right direction. What is that? Are those mushrooms? Yeah, those are mushrooms. You cool. What are these guys doing? Oh, look at that! It's so cute! He's catching his bag! I hope I don't get attacked. Oh no, I didn't get attacked. Too big and fluffy. What is. What the fuck? About you, you're not fascinating to me anymore. I'm here, you big oaf. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Friends, or are they gonna jump me? I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, he's definitely gonna try and jump me. <laughs> Go away! We're on the same side, goddammit! What are you doing? Go away! <laughs> the worst. I'm gonna complain about you guys. Just you wait.
I think from here and then just climb up. Yo. Steering words have been written on the note. Although you don't quite understand the purpose of this recording, you still follow our oh, yes. plan. What steering words? Can I please know? <laughs> Come on, game. I think we've discussed this. You're supposed to tell me these things. cross Sticking to this walk, glide, or climb everywhere rule that I set for myself <laughs> because knowing myself, I would have broken that like five minutes into the game because I got too tired of no. God damn it! I am trying to have a conversation here, game. Can you not do that? Just to see. I'm truly dedicated. See, <laughs> will you find someone as dedicated, dedicated as I am? No, you will know. <laughs> I think you probably would, but still, you know what I mean. Okay, let's keep going.
we're back in the village again. Wait, what? Yeah, we can we can make we can make it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Aha. We're just back in the same place we started from. Okay, 400 meters to go. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Sleep though. <laughs> Make sure to get plenty of rest at 6 a.m. Okay, I'm getting closer to my destination. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I can't judge you for reading manga at 6 a.m. I did that last night, but still, <laughs> try and get some rest when you can at least. Yesterday, it's this webtoon. I saw somebody posting about it on Twitter. I got curious and I started reading it. And then, I, before I knew it, I'd read like more than a hundred chapters in one day. <laughs> this fun though. Can't imagine doing all of that for content, but <laughs> this is literally the most I can do for content. Okay, the most extreme I can go to is not use teleportation and catch it and just. You know, run everywhere. <laughs> I can't get into fights with people. That's way too much. But it's entertaining to see it on viral head. <laughs> Following me, no, he's just watching it, watching me from afar, menacingly, sexily. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave. Shut up about this now. Wait, 144. Maybe on that side somewhere. Yeah, it's probably on the other side. I think we are here. <laughs> Somehow I found my way here. <laughs> Somehow. Not go in here. It's, it's probably down somewhere. No, it says go higher. 
can't go higher than this. Apparently, I do. Then I should be able to go in, right? But I can't go in. I need to go higher. My. Don't understand what you want from me, game. <sighs> no, go lower, fifty. Where am I expected to go exactly? Okay, if I'm down here, it says go higher. If I go up higher, it says go lower. The fuck you want? And I can't enter the building. Wait, unless it's talking about this place here? Yeah, it's talking about this place here. I'm dumb.計画が相当決まってただ。やり方が過激すぎる。そうだな。だが、残念ながら今回に限っては、お前たちの理念を認められない。お前は砂漠をよく知っているようだな。旅人。ラフマンの提案は、俺がマハマトラとしてキャラバン宿駅の衛兵と手を組んで。待てよ。
You all need to have a better idea of what's happening in your own country. もう Is this the time for all this? Really? the plan <laughs> i'm just like okay what was the point of having that meeting cut scene then if you weren't going to tell us the plan there oh god this game in this game like come on man it's been so many days since we supposedly ran away from Sumeru after Dotori took, took over you would think that you know the traveler and everyone else would be like oh shit something's going down <laughs> but they're so chill and so laid back about everything wait two days later oh my god
should be able to get there. No worries. I'm, I've been there like three times since the stream started, so <laughs> you would think I know the way by now, but <laughs> I sometimes forget the way to my own house, so. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god. Okay, wait. I have to, I think, cross these bridges and then I should be on the other side where I'm going to be. Meh. Probably not. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I was going in the wrong direction. I was supposed to go down there. <laughs> Never mind, I can't read a map. ever they're standing right out in the open like anybody can go like oh shit these people are coming for us I 
See, now this is the issue I have here, right? Okay, just let me give me a moment. I just want to kind of talk about this. Like, this is one of the issues I have with the game right now. So, instead of like um, having. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm being attacked on the fuck, but he got off. Can you not see I'm having a conversation here? Good God, man. What is this? Go away! I think I think we're safe. I think we're safe now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So as I was saying, I think the bigger issue I have with the, this way of storytelling is that so we start this this part of the Archon quest with this big thing happening in Sumeru City where people have been basically they're being mind controlled via the Akasha and it's all being done by Dotore. Right. He even introduces himself and we all and we watch Catherine, aka Nahida, get stabbed. Right, but then there's like there's no sense of urgency because everything happens so slowly. So then we go and we find Sino and Alhaitim and Candice, right? And then we segue into the story about King Dashrath, which could have been like a quest of its own. I think that would have been better. And then so we could focus on what's happening in Sumeru City because even now, even though we have this big team and this whole plan the traveler has to go everywhere and do everything so first we have to go to al haytham and do that whole can knowledge thing then we come here with sino and uh, uh, with sino and uh, get the emirates now we have to go all the way to wherever uh, ignari is to get there like to help there so there's no point in having this big team if everyone is not pulling their own weight and you as one individual has to do everything and it's also getting really delayed because uh, now we did this operation. It took, let's say, it took three in-game days to do this one particular operation. So now we go all the way to wherever the Nari is, and that's probably going to take two more days. And it's just like this whole thing that's happened in Sumeru City is just kind of getting delayed and delayed and delayed. So that kind of just takes away from the sense of urgency because they're making a false god, and nobody cares. Everyone's just like, yeah, okay, whatever. We'll just do everything at our own pace. And yeah, planning is important, but I don't know. It's just like it takes away a lot from the story, especially since we were introduced to Skara's backstory in like that short cutscene right in the beginning of the Sumeru City quest. So like the impact that it was supposed to have is kind of lost by now. Which is kind of sad because I know like a lot of people, including me, were waiting for Skara. But yeah, it's, it's very sad that you know the like the story is being relayed in such a manner instead of like being more like logical. I would say I, okay, logical is probably not the right word because it's the one that's in my mind right now. Okay. Oh wait, I'm. Are you serious? I have to go back to the. <laughs> oh my god! Seriously. Oh, I just came from here. It also kind of makes me wonder. I don't. I don't really remember what happened with Ignari because he was there during like the first part of the quest uh, when. Uh, we ex escaped from Sumeru City and he helped us, but I don't really remember what happened after that. It's been so long. That's another issue, right? Because you would think that Tignari would play an important role. You think Pole would play an important role because this is Dotore that's in Sumeru City, but you don't see her anywhere. Especially since like her connection with Dotore in the manga is like so like she is like everything that's tragic that happened to her is because of him so you would think that she would play an important role but i guess not just gonna like ignore her existence
she's just chilling. would just stop attacking us while we are doing like we are working with the emirates and everything that would be so cool yeah. like it would be nice touch but i think that would be too much to ask for wait is there a waypoint here according to the game there is i don't know if it's an underground waypoint though or like a waypoint okay hello Oof. Okay, get out of 
away. I said run away, not slide. Reset. Oh, it's a boar. <laughs> meters oh i am going in the wrong direction <laughs> oh good god of course i'm going in the wrong direction what is that i'm feeling that if i go near that the thing's gonna start chasing me but like, God, what is that? It's a bubble. Oh no, it just popped. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> you carry on, create another bubble. You're fine. It's fine. No need to overreact. It's just a bubble. Who's attacking me? Huh. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bad kitty. Okay, wait. Going in the right direction, right? Yeah, yeah. Paimon, you don't need to repeat. Oh, there he is. Pretty out in the open, but sure. <laughs> oh, 
この人なら知ってるよ。偶然だけど、パルディスディアイを離れたばかりだ。Why was he here, though? 偶然は、うん、具体的な内容を唐突に思うかもしれないが、今こちらが言えるのは、セノンなるほど。わかった。僕は君たちの質問。<笑>の名前ってそんな冗談は結構君も旅人もそれにセノもこういう冗談をするような人もし言いにくいことがあるのなら話さなくてもいいよ君たちの言う執行官博士が僕はリパシューだってなんであそれに連れて行くって、うん、彼はもうすぐスメールを離れてスメージナヤに戻るって言ってたそのハイパシアというファデューイはよほどよく偵察をしてるみたいだね。確かに。失礼だが、彼女への治療の進捗はいかがか。何か言いたいことがあるんだろうそれなら担当中。<笑>患者の移動は簡単なことじゃない。君はこう。私を疑うばかりか、私の能力まで疑うとは。まあ、こんなお願いをしもちろん我々は、彼女の旅の安全を確保する手段が、私が直々に治療に参加し。ハイパシアはスメール出身で、教霊院の学者だ。彼女をスネージナヤに送ること。そのリスクとメリットは、未知数、無謀で、無礼で、愚かな提案は。僕は博士をよく知らない。威張り腐ってるっていうより、患者をそういう人に渡すことはありえないよ。それが、僕。OK? Start skipping through some of the dialogue so we can get to the action. I don't know. 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 I don't You would think they'd be worried.
はいアミそうだったのかあんたらは最初からこれはセノそうだこの後セノに会うなら今のあいつにはおうちゃんあ次はあいつあそうだあっちだよよしありがとうなそれじゃこれそれにすべて念のためでもどこに傭兵には傭兵のやあの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの執行官あの I am not using teleportation in this stream, right? I am running, gliding, and climbing to reach wherever I have to go. But even then, this is more slower. Because you can't be faster than the character, so you have to like run slowly, so that they don't just stand in one place and just wait for you to show, like, come back to them. Like, wait, see, if I do this. See, <laughs> she's not following me. <laughs> oh my god. Koko made the hit. Hakase no goki koko kara minami ni ikuto. Olmosko ga. Nanto. So da. Are we gonna fight Dota now? Oh please, I would love some love for some action. After 800 meters. <laughs> Why am I still doing this? Oh god. I've never been dedicated to anything in my whole life as much as I'm dedicated to this stupid gimmick. So hard. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> okay, let's see. See, the benefit of the Sekhnek route is you can find sexy emeralds and talk and just you know stare at them before you have to go anywhere, which I think is always like a good thing. Okay, three hundred meters to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I'm out of stamina. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if stamina wasn't a factor. Like you could just keep sprinting non-stop. Which faster would things be then? Crossing 800 miles. Yes, I would. 
I was actually thinking of that song, but I couldn't remember like what the actual lyrics were. I just like remember something that I would blah 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 something 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 miles for you or something. <laughs> I don't know that song at all actually. <laughs> The first time I heard it was like on an episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so I only hear it whenever I rewatch that episode otherwise. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know why you did that. But sure. I was just trying to glide. Wait, no, don't tell me I just crossed over to this this side for no reason. <laughs> Emotionally close. Oh no, this has become an Otome game. <laughs> you don't have to be made that mistake fifty times before I pick it. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I jumped into the water for no reason. <laughs> is that what you're telling me? <laughs> oh my god, this is a fucking disaster. How do I get out of here? Where else do you need me to be then, if not here? <laughs> Pretend I do not see you staring directly. <laughs> oh my god. I can't get closer than this. <laughs> like, <laughs> at this point, everyone can just see me. I'm just, 
sorry, I can't believe this. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a shopkeeper. <laughs> Tending to my wells. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do at that end part. Like, they're like, oh, let's get closer, and I'm literally on the fucking board. <laughs> like, I can't get closer than that. Okay, the doctor's on the boat. I don't think I can get closer than this. That is a lift. Oh no! <laughs> oh, never mind then. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so I'm right till this part. It's only that last bit about getting close. <laughs> How to give it to Dotredo? He's like really nice. He didn't. He pretended he didn't see me when I was just sitting like right in front of him. How to give it to the guy? He's a good sport. Shut the fuck up there. <laughs> Unless you know where to hide, don't talk to me. No, 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 Wait, do I have to hide in those bushes? Is that it? Is it that easy? What? What do you see? I'm in the water. What do you see? <laughs> you bitch. Oh my god, I can't climb up. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like I've doomed myself. I'll be able to get back on the shore. No, I'm gonna die. <laughs>
Is this like close enough? <laughs> oh, Galaxy Brain Spine Machine just die. <laughs> if you don't know what to do, just fucking die. Okay, how close do I have to get? They're all like looking in that one direction. No, go, go, go in the, go in the water, go, go, go. <laughs> I'll just die again, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> just die again, it's fine. This is a nice hack that I figured out. <laughs> every time I feel like, like, every time I feel like I don't know where to go, just die. <laughs> These Patui aren't as smart as I thought they would be. <laughs> Neither am I though. <laughs> so I guess we're both, we're all fools. What do I do? So getting onto the boat itself isn't close enough. What is considered close enough? Just gonna <clears throat> think about this a bit. brain power and I don't have that. So they can't see me if I'm standing right here, right? They can't see me if I cross and go here. Let's go from here instead. Yeah, 
Well, I'm trying my best here, game. You're not helping. Oh, fuck my life. It's not near the docks. It doesn't make any sense. But it has to be the water. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's the only thing in my mind. Like, oh, not the dog jump inside. Is there like a boat or something I'm supposed to get on? Oh, shut the fuck up there! Is this close enough? <laughs> Does this count? There's a marker over a wait what? Where? Where? Oh god, I'm stupid. I don't see it. I swear to fucking god. I swear to fucking god. I see it now. I hate this game so much. It makes no sense. How does that take us closer? That takes me away from it. <laughs> See, Dea said, let's get closer. So I thought she literally meant get closer. How was I supposed to know she meant go back? How can you even hear what he's talking about? Okay, I can run to it really fast. <laughs> Why am I so dedicated to this gimmick? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I need to cross first. <clears throat> I 
I can I can run all 960 meters to Perth this year. I can do that <laughs> surely. Oh, no. oh, I get I need to stop acting on my every stupid impulse. <laughs> run like run slowly for a bit until we get a stamina back oh yes and i love these things there should be more of them throughout the game <laughs> makes my life so much easier I mean my life is already easier but still <laughs> you know what i mean it makes my life easier when i'm doing stupid shit like this <laughs> oh thank you so <laughs> wait i didn't need to cross across why did i cross it's also funny to watch i'm glad <laughs> i'm glad my suffering is funny to you <laughs> I'm like I'm busy here. I have like 500 meters to cross. Is it meters or miles? I don't know. Whatever it is. I have a long way to go. So mind your business. Wait, no. What is that? Want that? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I have no idea where I am. But at least I have cool music playing. <laughs> mellowed lo-fi version of the song but man nothing beats the original yeah. huh. see the dendro slime there i'm not messing with that i'm just gonna go here Glad you're enjoying yourself, Ami. <laughs> Keep going, it's fine. <laughs> And all of these different nations, like they just come in and say that you have no right to question us. Like, why though? <laughs> Oh, 
めるかどうかは別としてファデュイがこんな時にパルディスディアイに来るなんて薬草を探すほかに目的があるまで言いにくいことだが我々への憶測は余計な問題を生ずることにもなろうだったら責められるべきは隠し事のできない君たちの執行官だね僕は学者としてパルディスディアイに滞在しているでもだからといってレンジャー長の身分を捨てたことにはならないスメールに貢献した学者たちのイエーイゴーゴーピタラス僕のレンジつまり今日I'm gonna get this guy first before he gets his shield on because he's gonna be very annoying to beat otherwise. There we go. And nobody cares about you. This the Geo Fatui guy has to be like the most useless one of them all. Oh, you are. Yeah, I know, right? Like, wh how do they have so much authority everywhere they go? They're just like, oh no, you have no right to question us or question our authority. We do whatever the fuck we want. Why are they after Hypatia though? I don't understand. She's dead. Oh my fucking god, she's fucking dead. Oh, she's just... Congratulations. I'll just let you know that most of my thoughts are just me questioning my existence or thinking about fanfic. So, I mean, if that's what you want to hear, that's up to you, but like. Uh. <laughs> I 
今までの僕が残したのは苦痛にまみれた記憶と人逆に君たちのようにあがき続ける人間の方が僕にとってはよほど面白い君がこの世界でた今の僕は今日のおしゃべりは悪くなかったから一つアドバイスをあげるよその無意味な守護者気取りをやめなこれこそ全ての人間と君のためそうだね彼女は僕の神の意識を除き神には信者がいないとだとハイパシアは幸運にも僕に選ばれたのさ彼女の出現は僕が神の権力へ初めの一歩君は常に僕の言葉を疑った誰が博士が<笑>面白い言われたことがないかい君博士は昔から身のほど知らずなやつだったでもそんな言葉だけで僕の力を利用して博士君がここで僕と会話できるのも僕からの恵みだ僕の声を聞く者と良きことも悪きことも恩恵としてもらうこれうわ雷がさっきの見えないやつが大量だった OK what's going on now? Okay, it's just a lightning strike. I've been struck by lightning in this game so many times. You walk it off, it's fine. <laughs> So much, I'm just like, yeah, just feed him an egg, he'll be fine. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You got that. Even the one that was hit by Shiroyo. Boko no Jokyoa, Boko no Ichi, Nigaka, Wakara, Hito, to Hanas, Makario. Can I play through this quest? Let me strike me during the call. Oh man, Scossi, yes, Masate. That's funny. <laughs> oh, you think I'm funny? That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. まだお礼を言ってない気にするなお安い御用だとはいえ少なくとも博士は確かに何かの用事があって慌ててスメールを離れたってことには確証が持てそうだふん<笑>まさかファデュイたちは残票に関する何らかのさっき残票はハイパシアに気づいたか残票もじゃあもし博士がこいつの話からすればつまりこれで一件だうん<笑>ティナリー協力に感謝<笑>よしカルディスディアこれからも目立たないように
Okay, let's see. Oh god, we have to wait till nine. Yeah. Unless it's nineteen hundred the next day, then oopsie. Go to the Grand Bazaar, okay. Wait, the Grand Bazaar where? <laughs> 700 meters, I'm guessing I have to go back to Sumeru City now. Yeah, okay, let's go guys. We have a long journey ahead of us and the music stopped playing. So let me just take care of that. I need to... I don't know why they in did this thing with YouTube where it starts asking you if you're still watching. If you're still watching the video and it'll just pause it on its own. Like, sir, it's music. Like, keep, let it keep playing. You're not Netflix. Peaceful, but I feel like now that I've said it, I have probably jinxed myself and it's gonna take a turn for the worst. stamina left. This is a problem. How am I supposed to get across without stamina? Are you still watching this image after seven hours? Do you need help? <laughs> Clearly I need help but not from you, YouTube. Fuck off. <laughs> Is this the time for you all to be fighting it out? Really? <laughs> what? 
She just walked up and he's like, hey, you want to know a secret plan? up things here for now because i know that there's quite a bit of this quest still left to go from what i've seen like i've seen screenshots and stuff so i'm gonna wrap up things here for now and we'll go to our uh, readings first and also because i'm starting to get hungry <laughs> i have to go eat yeah yeah i know i know you're sad you're a sad old man <laughs> Let's go to get to our weekly readings. Um, let me just prepare everything and then we can start. Okay, we're good to start. We'll start with Sue. And she was the first one here. And then we move on accordingly. Okay. <laughs> what is that on me? <laughs> cards in this exact same order for you before so that's kind of creepy <laughs> but yeah okay so uh the first card we have is the page of swords followed by the two of pentacles then we have the knight of cups the queen of swords and then the five of cups I feel like I've pulled these cards for you before in this exact same order or, or I've pulled these cards so many times that it's kind of getting muffled in my head. But yeah. Huh. Okay, so let's start with the Page of Swords, right? So, 
follow up uh, once again. Yeah. So the Page of Swords is about like curiosity, right? The Page of Swords, uh, she is kind of like defined as someone who's very curious, who has a lot of ideas and just someone who wants to do a lot in life. So you might be in a period in your life right now where you have this really like you have this idea that you really really kind of want to go through with may this might be related to maybe some project that you're passionate about maybe something related to work or even at home right and there's something that you really want to do so i think this card is just like a very good sign telling to tell you that yeah it's a good time to start that project to kind of follow your heart and just let your creative creativity run wild and to share what you're doing with others right then with the two of pentacles though so the two of pentacles is all about balance right in the image of the two of pentacles also we have this man trying to balance two pentacles in his hand but balance isn't always an easy thing to meet so right now it could be that with this project on your mind you have also you do have a lot of things that are going on in your life and it's you you're finding it very very hard to balance all of that while also making plans to start this particular po- project that is signified by the page of uh, page of swords so i think that you're in yeah you're basically in a state where you can't find that perfect balance so it's this card is probably telling you to kind of just you know look at your priorities see where you are in life and just decide exactly what you want to do next instead of trying to do everything at once so it could also be as with the page of swords it could also be an indication that maybe it's time to put everything else aside and just pro- concentrate on this passion project of yours because now is the perfect time to start it then with the knight of cups we see that hmm so the knight of cups is someone who is like very in touch with his emotions very intuitive right so this card is all about listening to your heart following what your heart wants the most so i think that goes very well with the page of swords as well because the page of swords is all about curiosity and doing what you want to do but okay this is kind of funny because we have the knight of cups which is all about following your heart and being in touch with your emotions but on the other hand we also have the queen of swords who is all about thinking like depending on your intellect to make decisions So you have two we have these two cards that are kind of contradicting one another right but i think the message here is quite clear both of these cards are telling you to find a balance between your intellect and your emotions so that you can make a decision that will make you happy right hmm finally we have the five of cups which is all about disappointment right it symbolizes feelings of disappointment it's like it signifies that you are kind of like unhappy right now so instead of being able to move forward and start a new chapter in your life you're kind of stuck in the past you're not able to let go of the things that happened so i think together all of these cards are sending you a very simple message so you might have gone through something extremely difficult and you have a hard time moving on from it but with the page and this hard time moving on from it can also be signified by the two of pentacles which because you know you got kind of stuck in the past so you're not able to balance what's happening in your present at the moment because your mind kind of keeps going back to the things that have already passed <laughs> so but with the page of swords the knight of cups and the queen of swords the message is quite clear it's time for you to kind of you know reconnect with yourself look at everything in your life and let go of things that make you unhappy so that you can make space for things that will make you happy right so whatever this pa- passion project you want to do that could also be like a good getaway from everything that's happened in the past so you can just focus on the future and to do that you have to find that balance between your intellect and your emotions because most of the times it are, it's our emotions that kind of hold us back because we're so emotional right so when something horrible happens it's very hard for us to kind of let that go so i think that's what the knight of cups is saying that you're very emotional you're ruled by your heart and it's kind of time to put that aside and let your intellect and your mind guide you because that way you'll be able to move forward and actually work towards something that will make you happy and that way by the time you let your emotions come back up again you'll be in a place where you're not constantly clouded by regret and self pity so let me just get some oracle cards and let's see what we get
Hmm. Okay, so the first oracle card we have is Surrender to the Sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Then we have Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. And finally, Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestor, See the Light by Staying Grounded. So I think the message of all these three oracle cards is also very clear and goes well with your tarot reading. So your tarot reading is all about moving forward in life and finding that place that makes you as a person happy. Right? It's all about like letting go of the past, not being ruled by your fear and you know whatever experiences you've been through so that you can focus on your future. So now we have surrender to the sweetness, which is all about finding the things that make you happy and that goes well with the page of swords which is all you know it's talking about doing the things that make you happy the things that you've always wanted to do so the surrender to, to the sweetness card is also you know conveying the same thing that it's now time to focus on things that make you happy instead of fo- focusing on things that have you know made you sad and made you regret then we have star ancestors which is hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper so this card is telling you yeah it's basically telling you to look inside of you because all the answers that you need all the guidance that you need to be on the right path that's all inside you right because nobody knows the things that you want better than you so this card is telling you to kind of just reconnect with that part of yourself and then finally we have star keeper which is cosmic ancestor see the light by staying grounded so i think this card is very well you know it goes with the queen of swords because the queen of swords is all about thinking from your mind right it's putting your emotions aside so you can analyze a situation practically and decide what you want to do next and this card is basically telling you to do the same see the light by staying grounded so this way you're not letting your emotions take control and you know you're not letting your thoughts kind of run at the speed of light because sometimes when we start daydreaming about things we set these like these huge expectations which doesn't happen so by staying grounded you're being realistic and you're only setting goals for yourself that you know that you can meet so that way you won't be faced by disappointment let me pull some other cards from our angel answers Okay, so the angel answers are also kind of giving a very similar message because the first one we have is the situation will improve. So whatever is happening in whatever happened to lead you to that state which is indicated by the five of cups, this card is telling you that that situation will improve. You won't be in that state always because obviously, you know, once you start working towards moving on from that, things will slowly start getting better. Then we have ask for help from others so this card is also very obvious it's telling you to depend on others not to hold everything not to keep everything to yourself because sometimes when we keep our emotions to ourselves it's very hard to kind of work through them so this card is telling you to it's telling you that it's okay to depend on people around you and finally be assertive so that's basically like you know regaining control of your life not letting your past rule your future it's regaining control deciding what you want Finally, let me get my... Okay. Let's see what crystals we have for you today. These cards are still so sticky. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the two cards, the first two cards that we have are Amazonite, which is loosen your grip, Angel Aura Quartz, which is lighten up, and Iolite, shift your money mindset. So I think the message here is pretty pretty freaking clear right so we have the loosen your grip in amazonite which is telling you to kind of just you know let go not you know just 
I think it might be that whatever has happened in the past is something that's making you very paranoid about the present as well as the future. And when you kind of get in that to that state, you start being extremely worried about every single decision you make. So this card is t- kind of telling you to loosen your grip, to let yourself relax, to you know, calm down and recollect your thoughts. And then we have angel aura quartz, which is lighten up. So basically, that's moving on from everything that's happened, so you can be in a much happier state. And finally, shift your money mindset. So it's basically, I think this card is like a message to focus on how you are managing your finances, how you're spending your money. So yeah, so I think the message in all of these cards is very clear. Whatever happened, it's see, we can't change the past. There's no way to change the past. What we can do is work on our future, work on our present and make sure that we do not repeat those same mistakes. But to be able to do that, we also have to kind of keep moving forward. We can't be ruled by the mistakes that we made. We have to kind of live in the present. So I think all of these cards are telling you to do that now. To live in the present and to let go of the past so that you can be happier. Yeah, so so this is the reading I have for you. I hope this helps you. I hope whatever you're going through comes to a part like passes by soon so that you can be in a happier state. I'm not sure how to think of how I spend my money when I really spend. <laughs> oh, that's one way. I mean, it could it just doesn't have to be about saving all the time. It could be about maybe like this card could be telling you that hey, maybe it's time to make like an investment in something like you know set some money aside for your future or you know something like that i mean that's that's also something it could be but yeah i mean there's no i wouldn't say that take these cards to heart and do exactly what they say because again you have to kind of think of your current situation and where you are before you can kind of decide what you have to do next oh okay i hope that didn't become too serious because that was not my intention but okay let's kind of move on with okay rin we shall do your reading for you for next week let's see what we get let me just rearrange the cards properly so that we don't pull the same cards over and over again <laughs> okay i'm going to start shuffling Okay, Rin, for you we have, I think, the first card we have is the Page of Cups reversed. This is followed by the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is followed by the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. The, this is the Ten of Pentacles. And finally, the Star. Okay, so the page of cups when it's in its upright position, this is a card which is all about, you know, being open to new ideas. It's about being inspired and just kind of chasing after things that you love creatively. It's also about chasing your own dreams. But when it's in its upright position, the it's it's kind of signifying that you're in a state where your creativity is kind of blocked. You don't know what you want to do next. Like, you know, There's a lot, actually there's kind of like a lot that you want to do, like there's so many ideas in your head, but because there's so much in your head right now, you don't know exactly where to stop, where to start. And that itself can be very, very exhausting. So this card is kind of like, you know, it's symbolizing that you're just like in a very troubled state because all the things that you love, you aren't able to pursue that because you just kind of feel stuck. And then we have the Eight of Cups. 
the eight of cups is a card that kind of tells you that it's time for change and transition like you change into something else but the issue with this card is it says that you have to change by walking away from something it could be something you love which is always a very very difficult thing to do but this something that you love is right now has put you in the state where you feel very very dis- very dissatisfied with your life and as long as you kind of keep holding on to it you won't be able to find you know you won't be able to open up to open up yourself to new opportunities and other things that might make you happy then we have the eight of wands now the eight of wands is all about rapid movement and action so it's basically kind of telling you that you are in a place in your life where you're ready to kind of make the change and to kind of just you know it's a card that's red, telling you that you're ready to change your circumstances and to be in a better place because again you know the thing is that we might say that oh it's just a you know artist block or writer's block or whatever it is and it'll pass but it's not always easy to wait for it to pass and sometimes it that itself can become very very stressful so the eight of wands is telling you that it's time to make changes in your life you might also be in this position where you're probably waiting to hear some sort of news and that news is going to come to you very soon so once you hear that your life itself will you know kind of just start changing and things will start progressing in a more positive manner and i say positive because we have the 10 of pentacles the 10 of pentacles is all about being in a state of satisfaction right whatever chapter in your life was causing you so much trouble is going to come to an end if you're able to let go of the things that make that are making you unhappy because once you let go of these things you are able to move forward and when you move forward you'll slowly start moving into a place where you are satisfied with things where you are happy right and these were this and this will be a more long term thing rather than like a short term thing so basically you know all the hard work that you've put into stuff it's going to start paying you know it's going you're going to be paid back for that but you for that to happen you do need to make some serious changes in your life which is signified by the eight of wands and si- finally we have okay you have one of my favorite cards from the major arcana which is the star now the star is all about hope and faith right this card is telling you that it's okay to be you know be hopeful about things right you you the universe right now is blessing you this means that things are slowly going to get better but obviously things don't change on their own you don't just wake up one day and everything's different a lot of change depends upon the, upon the choices that you make so the cards are telling you in the eight of cups and the eight of wands that it's time to kind of let go of things that make you unhappy it might be something that you loved at once but by letting go of that your life will progress into a more positive direction and when that happens you'll finally be in a state which is signif- state state of satisfaction which is signified by the 10 of pentacles let me just get my oracle cards Okay. So, the first uh, oracle card I have for you is Inner Earth. You will survive this new solutions and beginnings. So, I think this card really signifies the troubled state you are in, which is which is represented by the reversed page of cups. But it's also kind of encouraging you and telling you that things will get better. The solutions, you know, all these solutions and everything are coming towards you. You just have to be open to, you know, receiving them. and then we have hirayat which is longing for home homesick for the stars so i think this is also kind of re- you know referring to the state you are in because of the page of cups right and it can also be a kind of also be referring to the eight of cups so the page of cups reverse is kind of you know putting you in the state of feeling lost and kind of hopeless because you don't know what to do next because your mind isn't clear enough to show you a way out of the situation you're in 
and that's kind of bringing the sense of longing but if you are able to kind of start making those changes that are signified by the eight of wands you will kind of be able to you know find that place where you belong and finally we have the star ancestors hidden secret lost wisdom look a little deeper so again all of these answers that you need are within you right you don't need somebody to tell you what to do next you know what you have to do next you just kind of have to clear your mind so you can see that from the angel answers oracle is uh, ask for help from others so again this is very obvious right you share your worries with the people you trust and they might be able to give you ideas as to what you need to do next then we have listen to your intuition again as i said before the answers are inside of you so you just have to kind of trust your heart trust your gut so that you can make the right decision and finally we have the romance card <laughs> Okay, so with the romance card, it doesn't have to be literal romance, but it could also mean that there's somebody in your life that you know who's going to play play a very very important role in the changes that are about to come. And you know, it's basically kind of telling you to be open to this new relationship, open to what might you know happen next, instead of kind of just running away from it. Let's see. Oh wait, let me just specify this. It might be about opening yourself to new opportunities or it could the romance card could also be like if you're in a committed relationship so it card could also be telling you to depend on this person that you're with. <laughs> Looking as I dodge romance when it pops up for others. <laughs> don't jinx yourself so Joe, don't jinx yourself. The universe is always listening. Okay, so in the the first uh, crystal I have for you is the Lem Lemurian quartz, which is practice patience. Then black kyanite, which is set so strong boundaries, and citrine, which is bring in the light. So I think this goes very well with your tarot reading as well. So by practice patience, it could be like instead of being very, you know, rushing into things, this card is telling you to be more patient. Analyze the situation properly and then make a decision, right? Because it's but. You know this happens especially when we are in the state where creatively we don't know what to do next we kind of feel stuck right so when that happens we have so many ideas in our head and instead of kind of just focusing on one idea at a time we want to execute all those ideas at once and we kind of keep rushing into things but when you do that in the end you'll only feel overwhelmed so this card is telling you to practice patience so that you know you can take things one step at a time then we have citrine which is bring in the light I mean, I think that one's pretty obvious, right? And then we have black kyanite, which is set strong boundaries. So, basically, we have the ask uh, ask for health card, but this card is also telling you that while taking advice from others is fine, don't let them control your decisions. Set boundaries that make you comfortable, and then you know take everything into account and decide what you want to do next. Because you know, letting others make your decisions for you. Won't, it won't make you happy in the long run because they won't understand what is good for you the way you do right so yeah this is the reading i have for you i hope this helps you in the long run because you know things might seem difficult but you know as the cards say they do they will definitely get better you just have to kind of you know take that take time with yourself to analyze where you are in life right now I know I kind of just, you know, take big pauses when I'm talking, but that's mostly because I'm doing other stuff as well. <laughs> Hold on, Ami. Damn my gods. Okay, Ami, it's your turn. 
we just rearrange these cards and make sure i don't put anything inside upside down Okay, Ami, for you, these cards are just jumping out of this pile. <laughs> like they're not even letting me shuffle. They're just like, no, I want out. I want out. I want out. <laughs> most favorite cards in tarot <laughs> okay let's start okay so the first card that kind of just popped out of the pile was the empress love her she's amazing <laughs> oh god okay so the first card that popped out was the empress followed by this is the six of cups then we have the five of wands After that, followed by my favorite favorite card in tarot, which is the world, and then Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so let's go. Like, let's go through this one by one, right? <clears throat> so the first card we have is the Empress. Now, the Empress is the Empress card is all about. It's kind of signifies feminine femininity, right? It's like the feminine side of things, right? But when you get this card basically what it means is that you are at the stage where you're going to come up with this new idea some or you're going to come hold on let me <laughs> let me be a bit more clear i'm sorry i'm stammering so much but yeah so the empress card is basically telling you that you're in a place in your life where you're about to encounter a new idea or a new opportunity which is going to change things for the better right yeah, so it's going to change things for the better it's going to bring success into your life and with the empress guiding you you will yeah with the empress guiding you you're going to find success in life so that's basically the empress there's a lot to do with pregnancy and stuff but i don't think you're in that stage right now <laughs> i think this is more about you know being in a very creative period where you know your mind is just buzzing with a million thoughts and a million ideas of things that you can do and things that will most definitely bring you success if you start working on them because you have someone as someone as strong as the empress who is who is guiding your way after that we have the six of cups now the six of cups is again a very good card it's all about generosity and happiness right the card the image of the card is basically these two girls who are holding flowers right they seem they seem to be in a very peaceful state they recon this is a card which is telling you that it's time to kind of reconnect with people and if if you are in a place where you have suffered a great loss suffered disappointment it's time to kind of just you know fall back on the people that love you thank you empress please do not present me please <laughs> yeah so the six of cups is basically telling you that if you've been in a state where you have experienced loss where you've experienced disappointment it's kind of time to fall back on the people who you love your friends and your family so that you can be surrounded by their support and their comfort so the six of cups is saying that you know you are going to transition into the state of like happiness which is kind of supported by the empress which is telling you that you're in, you're in a very creative period so whatever happened in the past is you know you'll slowly be able to let that go so you can move into this new phase of your life this is now followed by the five of wands now if I, if i find the five of wands a bit worrisome when i look at the card itself because the card is all these like around like five men who are standing together all of them are kind of like you know, they seem to be kind of attacking one another so this card kind of signifies uh you know it signifies that there's some kind of conflict going on in your life it can be an existing conflict or something that's about to happen 
this could also you know kind of show that there's kind of a lack of communication this could be between you and somebody or you know from somebody else's end and this lack of communication is kind of causing issues that can you know lead into something a bit more serious so it can lead to something a bit more serious so that's something i think you would definitely have to be careful of if it hasn't happened already so it means that it could happen so you have to be a bit more communicative with people so they know exactly where you stand right then this that finally we have the world so as i said the world is one of my favorite cards in tarot so the world kind of shows it signifies unity and wholeness right and this and by unity and wholeness i don't mean that you are going to be in a very happy it's, it doesn't refer to your outside relationships where it means with yourself like with your physical and your mental state both of them are kind of just going to be in this unity right everything's going to start slowly falling into place in the way it should be the world card also signifies fulfillment and achievement 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 what is achievement what the hell <laughs> yeah it signifies fulfillment and achievement so this is i think you know paired with the empress this this shows that you know good things are coming for you because the empress is all about creative state and success and which is kind of backed up by the world and finally we have the ace of pentacles oh i mean you have some very good cards here i have to say except for that one you have some really good cards here yeah so finally we have the ace of pentacles so the ace of pentacles is a sign of opportunity right it all aces in the tarot signify a new beginning right so this is what the ace of pentacles is telling you as well you are going to have opportunities coming your way and if you invest your time into these opportunities if you you know really work hard they're going to lead you to success and it's not going to be like short term success but it'll be like long term success where you'll be you know you'll be able to move into a more stable and secure state in your life so i think these are like very good cards with the empress telling you that you're in a very creative period you are guided by this strong you know the strong person and you will find success and even with the uh, what and that's kind of backed up by the world and the ace of pentacles i think the two things that you have to be careful for is the meaning behind the six of cups and the five of wands so the six of cups when we say that it's happiness it's kind of like a naive childhood happiness right that you don't really see the storm that's brewing because you're kind of focused on like the happier things so i think these two cards are kind of giving you a warning as well so you can be this in this state of success and this state of fulfillment as long as you kind of keep an eye on your surroundings and make sure that you're communicating with pre- people prop- properly because a lack of communication can lead to misunderstandings which will eventually lead to more problems so to avoid that problems these two cards are warning you and telling you that just keep a check on the people in your life make sure that they are on the same page as you so that there aren't any issues let me get my oracle deck we have is empathetic star seed energetic sovereignty observing what's not yours the seas of mintaka seeing potential bringing unconscious to light and then lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before so i think all of these cards are kind of giving you the same message right so empathetic star seed is telling you that you take on way too much you're taking on pro- other people's problems you're taking on their emotions and that can be a little too much for you to handle because you know obviously we everybody has their own set of problems so you're kind of pushing aside your own problems to take care of others i think this card is telling you that it's you know kind of time to stop which goes with your tarot as well right because i think the conflict that uh, the five of wands is talking about can also be like having this difficult conversation with somebody where you're setting your boundaries and telling them that hey this you know this is something i can't do anymore i'm setting my boundaries please you know respect that 
and it's that can be a bit difficult for other people to follow so but as long as you handle that situation calmly i think things should go well then we have the seas of mintaka seeing potential bringing unconscious delight so in the empress the world and the ace of pentacles are all telling you that you have these opportunities coming your way so i think the seas of mintaka kind of backs that up and says that you know there is a lot of potential inside of you not just inside of you there's potential in different opportunities so you you know just think of things rationally see the potential in in whatever you choose to do and then you know move forward and finally lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before so i think this card very much signifies that whatever opportunity you pick you're going to end up doing something you've done before and something that you love right so when you do things that you love you do them more happily because when you're working a job that you don't enjoy at all it can be very hard to find that happiness right so i think this card is telling you that these opportunities are things that will make you happy in the long run so i think that's very important let's see what our angel answers have to say okay so the first card in the angel answers we have is remain positive i mean i think it's pretty obvious this card is telling you that no matter what hardship comes your way it's important to remain positive because when you're not positive the negativity kind of starts taking over and makes it difficult for you to function right then there's trust so basically trust in yourself trust in the process things will fall into place and finally helpful people you are surrounded by people that love you people who take who want to take care of you and help you help you and there's nothing wrong with depending on them when things get tough because no one person can deal with everything on its own conflict and communication and boundaries yes i mean that is something that these these cards are definitely telling you to work on okay let's get our crystals oh my god Okay. I think these cards are like they're definitely trying to say something, that's for sure. <laughs> so the first card we have is Rainbow Obsidian. Heal your heart. Then we have Pink Opal, which is be kind to yourself, and finally the Sunstone, which is take pleasure in the things you do. So I think the message behind all of these cards is very very clear. They're telling you, okay, it's time to taking on the it's time to stop taking on the burden of the world it's time to kind of focus on yourself your needs the things that make you happy and set clear boundaries with the people around you this way you can focus on yourself you can let your give yourself the time you need to heal emotionally and it's also telling you to be kind to yourself because i think the biggest struggle most people find with setting boundaries is this feeling of guilt right because there's always this feeling of guilt that tells us that oh no you know if we do this this other person will be hurt so this card is telling you to be kinder to yourself you're not a bad person by se- if you set boundaries instead if you set boundaries you are kind of also helping the other person not be completely dependent on you you're helping them find a new way of kind of dealing with their problems and their emotions a new way which, which might be a bit more healthier so this card is telling you to be kind to yourself don't be so self critical all the time because that will in, in the long run being self critical all the time will only cause you more sadness right and then finally we have the sunstone take pleasure in the things you do so the sunstone is telling you to kind of do the things that make you happy right pursue goals that will make you happy which i think goes very well with the uh, other uh, oracle cards that we pulled as well as well as the tarot So I think the all in all the message of all the the tarot as well as the oracle cards is very very clear. They're telling you that you like this you know hold on one second. Right. Yeah, they're telling you you are about to enter this state of happiness and a state where you can be 
where you can finally find success and do things that you love but for that to happen you need to kind of be a bit kinder to yourself because even when you're doing things you love as long as you don't show yourself that kindness you'll kind of you know bring yourself down in the long run so it's these cards are telling you to be kinder to yourself to set your boundaries so that you can focus on you so i mean i hope you heed the message of these cards like usually i tell other people don't do that but for you i'm going to tell you heed the message of these cards because they're telling you that you deserve happiness which is true so i hope this helps you i hope it brings some kind of guidance into your life so that when you're faced with decisions in this coming week you know what to do and yeah i think those are all that's all all of our readings for today Just quickly put this away. Okay. Right. Okay, guys. Those are all our readings for today. Thank you so much for coming to the stream and watching me run around like a crazy person. Cards are said good things are on the way, but now I'm scared I will somehow fuck it up. See, that's what these cards are telling you. That don't be so you know self-critical. Don't be so scared that you fuck things up because. you know you have that potential in you but you won't be able to do things properly until unless you believe in yourself and believe that you have the ability to handle even the most toughest of situations just have some you know have that faith in yourself be positive right and when you're feeling like you know you might mess up that's the time when you kind of reach out to the people around you right so that they can help you so there's absolutely no reason to be scared just you know take it one day at a time take take in a deep breath and just focus on the present because when you start thinking too much about the future then you know things start getting a bit murky there so yeah Whew. <laughs> i hope i didn't become too preachy for you guys i don't try to do that but i just want to be like very clear about like what the cards are saying obviously you know everyone has their own interpretation when it comes to tarot no i don't think any one card has a very strict meaning to it i try to just go you know explain things based on my own understanding and my own intuition so you know you can always like uh, come back to the stream look up whichever cards you got and kind of just you know search them yourselves and maybe you know you'll find a meaning that some, that you connect with bit, uh, you connect with more and that's completely okay you know but yeah um <laughs> I never know how to end these streams. I'm very bad at that. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming uh, to the to today's stream and to watching me run around all of the bed without using teleportation devices because I'm very That was okay. That gimmick was tiring, but it was fun in the long run. I have to say I had fun. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun too. Um next time uh, I will be taking the weekend off to kind of just you know focus on some other stuff. But from next I will uh, on Sunday I will put up an another schedule. uh for uh, upcoming streams so hopefully i will see you guys there um we will obviously pick up tension uh next week and finish up the remaining arcon quest right till then i hope you guys have a great weekend thank you again so much for coming really you guys don't know this i don't think i don't know if i've said this before but your presence here means a lot to me because it feels it always feels nice to have somebody there right so your presence means a lot to me thank you guys so much for taking out the time to attend my streams i know like you know 3 hours is not is a lot to spare for someone so thank you so much for that i appreciate you and i appreciate your support i will see you next week bye bye have a good night and have and a great weekend